I want to teach you this and I want you to be able to, and I'm going to simplify it, condense it. So when you teach another brother or sister, you can teach them the truth about one of the most important things in our time today, which is who is Mystery Babylon? Because Mystery Babylon will play a huge role in end times prophecy. And you have to know who is Mystery Babylon. Now, ancient Babylon was destroyed. Mystery Babylon would return in the end days and it would rule the earth. It is a system. But where does the system emanate from? All right, well, for, for us to really understand that, we have to go to the scriptures. In Amos 5.26, it says, But ye have borne the tabernacle of, of your Moloch and your Cune, your image is the star of your God, which ye made to yourselves. Acts 7.43 says, Yea, ye took up the tabernacle of Moloch and, ye, and the star of your God, Rimfam. This is the devil. The mark of the devil will be on Mystery Babylon. Now, let's read the words of our beautiful King, Jesus the Christ, who was sinless, and he can never tell a lie. Now, again, who are people going to believe? You will find out that many of the churchgoers will believe men. They will believe devils. They will believe, they will believe Kuhn. They will believe the devil, but they will not believe Jesus Christ, but they will want to pro profess his name. Their, their, their cries and their pleas will go unheard when things go bad, and they will go bad soon. Matthew 24, 22 tells us, except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved, but for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. The words of Jesus Christ. Now, Mystery Babylon, you can solve it real easy with just two verses. Now, Mystery Babylon killed the prophets. You understand? So what does Jesus Christ tell us about who killed the prophets? Matthew 23, 37. O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, thou that killest the prophets and stonest them which are sent unto thee, how often would I have, would I have gathered thy children together, even as a hen gathereth her chickens under her wings, and ye would not. Behold, your house is left unto you desolate. Now these are the words of Jesus Christ. Let's go over to to, to Revelation 18, and this is talking about Mystery Babylon, this woman in purple and scarlet. Purple and, and, and scarlet, folks, are what the Pharaoh, the priests, the Pharisees used to wear when they would go in, in the temple. This is in the Old Testament. This is, in, this is in the New Testament. It has nothing at all to do with, with Catholicism. All Catholicism did was copy, was copy the ancient devils. That's it. Revelation 18 says, who is this vile woman? Are you, are you ready? It says, rejoice over her, thou heaven, and ye holy apostles and prophets, for God hath avenged you on her. And 24, it says, now listen to me, in her was found the blood of prophets and of saints and of all that were slain upon the earth. My God, how powerful is that? So Jesus Christ just got through telling us that, 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 that Jerusalem did what? Killed the prophets. Now, Revelation 18 which, which is Jesus Christ talking to John, he says again, who was responsible for killing the prophets? Mystery Babylon. This is not complex, folks, but it also says, and of saints and of all that were slain upon the earth. What a charge that Jesus Christ is making. But he actually, in the book of Matthew, he actually said it before the book of Revelation. The words of Jesus Christ, Matthew 23, 35, that upon you may come all the righteous blood shed upon the earth from the blood of righteous Abel unto the blood of Zacharias, son of Berechias, whom ye slew between the temple and the altar. Now, who killed Abel? Cain did. Jesus Christ is telling you who the devil and his children are right here. All you have to do is read your Bible. So, Mystery Babylon. Yeah? Revelation chapter chapter 18 and the light of the candle shall shine no more at all in thee and the voice of the bridegroom and of the bride shall be heard no more at all in thee for thy merchants there's the key were the great men of the earth for by thy sorceries were all nations deceived and again in her was found the blood of prophets and of saints and of all that were slain up on the earth so they have killed the prophets and they are in control of everything is this not true and notice that it says that for by thy sorceries were all nations deceived. Folks, there are two kinds of sorceries. There is witchcraft. There is, there is magic spells and craft of demons. But there's also potions as in pharmacy. And this is how we get the word pharmacy. It's from the Greek word pharmakia, potions, poisons, as in another form of sorcery. Some medications are good for us. They are from the Father. Many of the so-called pills, the medicines that we take today, are nothing but to dumb us down and to harm us even further. You will not find this taught in church because the churches are corrupt as hell. They are corrupt to the core. Many of the so-called Christians are either, even if you show them what's in the Bible, they will deny our Father's word. You see, they 
many of them do not understand it because they are blind and it's the Father who has blinded them. They will choose Remphan, the devil, over Jesus Christ. Many of them, the truth is people that these so-called churchgoers, they, they live in fear. They're afraid to stand up to the devil. They simply don't have the courage to stand up to, to the devil and say, I will take a stand. I just got through almost dying. I, at this point, I'm not afraid of anything, man, nothing. So let's read again. Let's read again. For in 18, Revelation 18, for all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through, her, through the abundance of her delic delicacies. Babylon has great power over the earth. Are you getting it yet? Because they control everything. Who controls everything? I mean from medicine, church, money, technology, academia, real estate, water, travel, electric, all entertainment, politics, food, military, health, construction, media, internet, agriculture, kings, and so-called leaders and more. Now, this is the reality of the world that you live in. They control every single thing on this earth. So when you teach this to another person, that you can keep it simple because many people are going to teach you lies about Mystery Babylon, and you will be able to tell them the truth now. Again, Let's close with the words of what's going to happen. 2 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 6. Seeing it is a righteous thing with God to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. Talking about us, that God's going to pay back the monsters that have harmed us. Number 7. And to you who are troubled, rest with us. When the Lord Jesus shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels, in flaming fire taking vengeance on them that know not God, and that obey not the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, Number nine, who shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power. Now that kind of destroys all this that we're all going to make it, right? Because Matthew chapter seven tells us that only just a few are going to make it. So somebody's not, they're not teaching it right. The devil is the author of confusion. He wants you to be confused and distracted from the truth. Babylon comes from, com, comes from the word Babel. It means confusion. At no other time in biblical history is this more prominent than right now today. We're going to give the glory to the Father through Jesus Christ for this learning that he has gave us. And now when you teach a brother or a sister the truth about Mystery Babylon, you can do it in five minutes or less. You can open up your Bible and show them four verses. Case closed. God bless you.